Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Today is, I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. Um, going back to Murphy Middle School, where I heard voices, where I believe it's haunted, where I've, showed, where, I've, where I've seen figures in the inside of the window could possibly be shadow figures. But today, we're going to find all that out. I'm going in. I'm going to go inside today. I'm going in. Uh, this is another episode of Dead Files, where I bring you to dead locations of body abandonment and dumping murder locations and apparently paranormal activity now I, I do believe because every time I come here I hear some type of I hear some type of voices or something coming inside so I'm I'm aware that there may be homeless inside of this location might be homeless people in there y'all man i cannot see with this glare might be homeless people in there me knowing that i am coming prepared for an altercation my hair is not down i got it tied up even though mostly it's always tied up but i got it tied up really tight um I got on clothes for the for the incident and I know every time y'all see a video I got on a red shirt but uh red shirt is my color red is my color so I got hundreds of shirts that's red so you'll always pretty much see me on a red shirt you can you can much pretty much say that's my uniform but real talk I know I'm, I'm prepared for an altercation um, prepare for a fight because if something something or someone jump out on me I'm gonna fuck you up if you scare me and you jump out on me I'm gonna fuck you up that's gonna be my natural reaction is to fuck you up I don't care if if you're a ghost or what you are you, you jump out on me you, you gonna get the business you get in the business because I'm throwing them hands you know, I don't play around, but I know some of y'all might be like, well, because I get this like from the last video. I, I got a couple people saying, well, well, do you have a gun? Are you armed? Let me tell you about that. Even if you have a gun and you're licensed to carry and you're legally carrying, okay, you're legally carrying a gun, you cannot go in some place trespassing and still have those rights you understand so even if you got a gun if you trespassing you lo you lose all the rights that you have for it to you by the law that's just like me breaking into somebody's house which i become a burglar and have an altercation with somebody and kill them even though i got my license who is the burglar who is that for? You are. Now this is an abandoned school, so it means most likely the state still owns the school, the property. Still owned by the state. And if not, it is, it's a private owner. Either way, when it's a trespass that signs up and you trespass, you carrying a gun don't mean a thing because you can't use it. I can't shoot nobody. Even if I'm a threat, I can't shoot nobody because I wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. Now, if I absolutely have to use it to save my life, it's different. But I would still have to take repercussions of being a trespasser, an armed trespasser. So that's jail time. And, and, and plus, I'm black. And you know before the law kick in, you're black first. You black first. So first I'm black, then I'm trespassing, then I'm carrying won't work out for me okay it's green but i'm gonna keep this short y'all we on our way here 
we're almost there. I'll tune you in when we, when we get there. This is the Dead Files, y'all. Let's get it. I'm to help your little friend. Pow! I know y'all like, wait a minute. One minute I'm going into the school. I'm I'm confident that I'm gonna do this. And the next man is the next minute is this clip. And I know y'all like what the fuck. So I know I got some explaining to do. Well, I was going to go into the the, the school. What was that? I was gonna go into the school, but then I got absolutely I, I, everything in me told me not to do it I got so scared it wasn't really fear it was just something in me was just saying not a good idea not a good idea everything in me everything in my blood was saying don't go so I listened to myself and didn't go I scratched it so this is the next um, we moved on to the next thing and the next thing we are at a location where several bodies have been dumped and one of them made the news of a young lady who was or her hurt was dumped up here but it's been several events where bodies were put up here now this used to be a field was nothing there it was behind the shopping mall um a home depot and I don't know if you don't have a Home Depot in your state. You know, it's where you go get all your tools. And it's the one big ass hardware store. It's about as big as a Walmart. And a body was put up. But the most interesting thing is that there was a body that was chopped up. Torsos and legs and all. And the body parts were scattered in this area. Now the thing is, I don't know which one. One of them was put in this dumpster up here. Now, I don't know if it was the body that was put in the dumpster or one of the body parts. I don't know. But, again, 
This is the Dead Files. I'm here with y'all at night. And um, let's do it. Now, right now, I am actually driving behind the retail services to where the dumpster is, to where the body was dumped. And the body, if you can see, the, the body parts were like put off off into the woods like these right here in this area it was put off in this area and there was a body that was actually dumped out here as you'll see from the news clip that I'll show um wow look at that it's amazing what you can just find behind this Home Depot at this it's amazing the shit you can find back here I'm like wow they got workers back here putting shit together but this as you see from the clip this is where it was people I don't see the dumpsters back here, so they must have like moved them or something. They must have moved them. I came back here actually trying to get into the dumpsters, but I don't see them. Let me see if I can relocate myself to a better position. So I'm about to see if I can get into a better position, y'all. Hold out. Okay, now. See, this is, a, this is where the sign was. This is where... This is where... This incident happened. Okay, now I'm going to where actually the body was. did not want to get my this is uh this is it you guys now let's get out and let's do it Let's do it. Now this. They're working to learn more right now about a police situation near a Home Depot store in Dearborn. There is a heavy police presence in the field outside the store at Ford and Southfield Roads. One person is dead on the scene, but we don't know the circumstances. Dearborn Police and the State Police now investigating. Stay with Fox 2 on air and online for updates on this developing story. This is where the body was, y'all. This is where the body was placed. Out here. Now, there were torsos that were found out here. This is the dumping ground for torsos, which was the human bodies that was chopped up. And where they found the body of that young lady. Now, since then, they have been doing construction. If You can't see because my lights suck. But all the way over there, they're actually building a building. You just can't see it from here. But this is, y'all, where the body was located. This is actually where they found the body right here. This is the actual spot. Now, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if it was like a, 
domestic dispute. But this is still a, long, a, a known location for dumping bodies and thing like that. It's still a known location for that. I wish it was less untouched to where it wasn't as much construction shit going on as it is right now. But it's a lot of construction stuff going on there out here now. But this is a known spot. Like I say, for bodies being dumped. This is a known spot for that still. You can still probably find that kind of thing going on out here. This is over here. I know there was a dumpster that used to be out here. It's like if you know if I shine my light in here, I'll see a pair of legs or something. Sitting out here. Yeah, this is um a known location. Oh my god, how deep this is. Foot went all the way into this thing. Known location. Body dumping. You know what they say in Detroit, if you look for a body, you'd find one. I hear movement. I hear some movement. Wow, this is really unstable footing where I am. There's something over here moving. Oh, so unstable. Oh, God. Oh, I almost fell. Let's check out this other spot. See what's over here. Now, I got to hurry up with this because I am in an area I'm trespassing, I'm sure. I'm in an area where police don't want me to be, I'm sure. And I do not want to be over here if the police decide to... What is that? Oh, Jesus, what is that? Is those like a pair of pants or something over there? Oh, my God, what is... Whew. I say I got nervous. Oh, shit. Sound like something warming up on me. Damn it. Look at every place that now I'm really every place or a human torso could be located. Whoa. Can you imagine walking over here and finding some type of human remain? Now let's go back over to this other area. Because remember, it was multiple cases where there was bodies dumped and there were torsos. Humans chopped up, y'all. They found body parts over here. They found a body. One year they found a body. 
and then they found a uh, uh, body parts so let's check out this other part Ugh. okay I'm trying to get out of this spot it's a little bit of maneuvering I got to do to get out of here place I want to go to is off around this, this back end over here. I'm very disappointed that I didn't find that dumpster. Because I know the dumpster, that damn dumpster should have been back here. It's a hollow. You see all that right there. I mean, uh, that could be prime space to where they would have put a body or something. And this is the Home Depot over here. As you can see, all this stuff right here. They got wood and things right here. Right around here. I know there was a. They got people out of here over here. Where exactly would that be? I'm so mad, y'all, that I can't. That I can't find that dumpster. That just got me irritated. So, um, I think that's probably the best I'm going to get out of over here. That's probably the best I'm going to get out over here. So, I got a couple locations. And I want it, can, I'm, and I'm sure I can hit location number two tonight. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. And I'm going to try to hit to location number two because um what i should have did is i probably should have waited till they was closed to home depot was closed i actually thought they were but they were they were still open oh but you know they got a night crew or whatever here they got a night crew here hold on guys hold on this is something i gotta do all right y'all we're gonna go into location number two and that's back by these train tracks and over here by the train tracks and there is a small tunnel this small tunnel is notorious for body activity and you know while I'm driving you know I gotta got I gotta have the lights on so you guys can see me because you know it's absolutely dark out here so you know I'm gonna wait till I get to location to fill y'all in on that so uh yeah, let's get to the location. Okay, we're back here at this location. Uh, we were here before when I thought that that dead body was over here, but that, that smell is gone. But but that's that's good. And um I see they did they did move the train. And if you see now, it's a whole nother train over here, it's a locomotive over here now. Okay, let me let me switch it around so you can see it from the front end. It's the whole locomotive now. And this over here over there in that corner is where I saw the dead body originally at. See it's a whole train here. It's the whole the locomotive part. This is where I thought I, I saw that dead body that time. It was right up along here. But if y'all never saw a locomotive, y'all. Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. I thought that was a torso. Just laying here in this. 
Now this is where bodies be at. Now this is just cool. They cut the engine off to it though. They cut the engine off. This is like an industrial area. It's a truck coming here too. But I'm gonna um, show y'all some parts over here up against this freeway, uh, up in the, against this Vita. Ooh, my car is so close. Ooh, Jesus. Maybe I did not park in a good spot. He could have smacked the shit out of my car. Trying to make that hard turn. Glad he didn't. Now let's let me show you the part that I was going to talk to you about. That's down here against this freeway. Now this is where I said the body was last time down here at the end, remember? Now I'm gonna show y'all the tunnel that connects to this where a lot, of, I'm telling you a lot of shit going on. This used to be really known for where homeless would be. Then it went from homeless to just outright dead bodies. Now this is where I found that dead body when I was uh, years and years ago. But this, this is where you have a lot of bad shit. Damn, so the train is moving. The train started moving. Hold on, let me go up here and take it get a the fucking train started moving when I came downstairs what the fuck I wanted to get that shit on film bastards Whew. fucking tired oh Gotta rest. Tired. I swear, this is Buddy, Body Dumping Central. Over here. Shit. It's really hard to get footing. Oh my God, that scared me. Un oh my God, the smell is back. Oh my God. Oh shit. Oh man. Shit. Oh, it smells horrible. starting to rain you guys my god it smells but this now the story is the reason why this is body central this used to go along a gang a gang um 
area. This goes through the heart, the whole heart of Detroit. Oh my God, what is that smell, Lord? Oh my God, what is that smell? It's, oh my God, is there something over here? I really do think there's something over here, y'all. Now this. Now what I wanted to show y'all, I might have had to uh, just about evacuate that idea. Well, it's right over here. Now see these are electrical, so I got to be careful because there's wires over here. I can walk along here and be electrocuted. Especially while there is an active train. And as you see down here, it's the freeway. And I tell them right below, that's where we were. See all the way over there? That's where I would like to go. And really show you guys. Body Central. I'm doing this for y'all. This is DC Freezing. This is the kind of shit I do on my channel. So if y'all haven't done it by now, please like, subscribe, if you want more of this kind of shit. Whoa, I almost fell. Oh my god, why does it smell like Hulk Hogan's ass over here? Dead bodies could be found anywhere in the city of Detroit. I'm over here because this is a hot location where several, several have been found. And this is a very bad location in the city, y'all. Very bad. We're at the end of the train. Goodbye, train. You motherfucker. All right, you guys. Train is gone. And that totally diverted me. Next time, where I'm trying to take y'all is up along and over there. You can see right up under there. I don't want this video. How long is this video already? Okay, I think I got time to take y'all over there. Up along here. It is known for some really, some really foul shit. It's a car coming. I don't know if this is somebody working for the train people telling me I need to get the fuck on or not. And I think it is. We'll just get them on camera through the whole thing. Huh? I'm going this way. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that conversation. <laughs> he works for the train, so he's pretty much telling me don't bring your dumb ass this way. Cause I sure was, I was, I sure was trying to show y'all some shit. Yeah, this is a highly popular dumping area. Now this, we can call this, hey, let me switch around to my other. Now this is a, this train system, let me tell you. Now this is how I got up on this train system. Now, a friend of mine knows some unsavory people. Now everybody, on the um on a highland park which is a, a bad area of detroit know about this train system they know that all types of bodies been dumped over there from the drug cartel itself now i'm um was investigating that because i've heard that all my life so once i start doing the dead files look at this shit once I started doing dead files, I knew I was going to investigate this train track system. Now, the funny thing that I'm telling you is when I was getting insight and verification on the shit through my man's people, there was a guy there that was telling me directly where bodies have been dumped, some of the names, what year and time did this happen? Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like the motherfucker who been doing the killing. Certainly wasn't finna ask his ass, but it sounded like it. Whew. It's nighttime, y'all. I ain't got my work in. I, I try to bring y'all in all the way through that tunnel, but when the train start moving, I wanted to get that on film because I'm telling you. Oh, this wouldn't be dead files if I didn't do that. Cause I'm telling y'all, the amount of bodies that's been dumped over here is ridiculous. Sound like somebody was walking up on me. It's all right, they will, cause I got that thing. The, the amount of bodies over here is ridiculous. And what I found out on well, my next episode of Dead Files, where I'm going to take y'all exactly over to Highland Park. Nearly 70%. This is in Highland Park, where I'm at right here. This is over on the west side of the city of Detroit. Bodies have been dumped over here. But over here has not been from off of the gang cartel. Over here as bodies have been dumped because this is a very good spot to dump bodies, period. I don't want these videos running too long, y'all. Um, the reason why I haven't been dropping no videos like this lately because you guys have been complaining about my light, that I haven't had enough light, and I agree. My, my light situation really does suck. So what I've been trying to do is I order the light from off the internet, people, I ordered a light from off the internet and I've been trying to wait for this light to get here. It's a military light. It's just really, it's just a badass light. It's like I paid $55 for it off the internet. And um, it was, it's, it's normally, you know how they say, normally $99. They probably went to the dollar store and got this goddamn light, y'all. I don't know, but I paid $50 for this motherfucking light. And um, I paid $50 for this light and I'm waiting for it to get in the mail. I done waited a whole week and this bitch still ain't showed up, so I don't know. When I went went back to the order thing, the goddamn order thing said from, from 7 to 12 weeks. What the fuck? 7 to 12 weeks? I'm going to get this fucking flashlight by the end of fucking summer. So I said, fuck it. I came back out with my shitty flashlight to do shitty things. Damn, I shouldn't have got on the freeway because now it's about to be loud. Here, hold on. I got my ass on the freeway. So, 
I'm about to end this video off, y'all. This is the begging part. Um, I'm just getting started. I've, I've got a hundred locations I'm gonna bring y'all to. I used to do a bunch of vlogs. I haven't done any vlogs because doing vlogs and doing the dead files is kind of hard because I don't have that many views. If I was getting a lot more views, I can get out there and do the dead files and do some vlogs. But you know, I, I kind of mix it up with both whenever I can. Like this is sort of a vlog, a vlog within the video. And um, so it's hard, y'all. You know, I'm trying to get it all together. Stick with me on this page because I'm, I'm I'm trying to get this page moving. I'm trying to get a lot of activity. I got a lot of locations for y'all. A lot of locations. And one day I will go into the middle school where I heard those voices. Um, I got a lot of hunted locations that I'm going to try to get to y'all. I'm still going to tackle LOE's Psychiatric State Hospital. Number one hunted hospital in Michigan. I'm still going to try to do that. But I'm, I think I'm going to have to do that with somebody. And we're going to have to be covert when we do it. Y'all like and subscribe. This is DC Freeson. I appreciate the love and support I've been getting you guys. Stay tuned. Y'all gonna see more shit like this, but even better. Once I get all this shit going, let's grow this channel together, y'all. Let's get out here and let's get me into some, some serious shit. The more y'all like the videos, the more y'all watch, the more y'all subscribe, the more I'm gonna get out here and do some, some stupid sickling shit. I might even go to... Uh, uh, the, the hunted middle school by my motherfucking self anyway y'all i love y'all stay tuned to the channel this your boy dc freezing love and peace uh. <laughs>